Hello everybody, in this video I will show how to import a template in Zabbix, uh, a template which is in the YAML file and how to do that via command line uh, in case we look forward for some automation script, uh, how we can possibly even automate that thing. So uh, in this video I will show one example. Uh, on the screen, what we are looking at, it is uh, Zabbix 6.0 release and uh, I'm about to install uh, a new template uh, via command line and uh, the task will be uh, completed by the help of PHP file. Uh, I, I have the script uh, over here, import template.php. Uh, you can access that file uh, from the video description. And uh, this one is having so like a very little of code and it's practically using the built-in API method, which is uh, available from like all versions of Zabbix. And uh, this PHP script will really accept a real file as an argument. So the usage is over here, uh, PHP, that's the binary of uh, the, like to support the, to really understand the code. Then uh, we have the script, uh, which we are looking on the screen. Then we are using authorization token and then the actual path to the file. Uh, so, so that's the use, uh, the usage. Uh, so what we need for this project uh, is uh, we need to have some input file. Let's go back to the Google Chrome, open uh, the stock Zabbix repository, uh, git.zabbix.com, that's official repository. We can access that uh, publicly, uh, open the Zabbix catalog. Uh, since I'm using here Zabbix 6.0 on screen, I will explicitly say, uh, Please show release forward slash 6.0, click. Now uh, open the templates catalog and uh, uh, operating system uh, Windows SNMP. Uh, so I will try to import this guy inside the Zabbix. Uh, if I open this file and uh, I, I can see the template title is Windows SNMP. Uh, I, I will remove this template from the interface apply here just to make sure it is there uh, click uh, to select the template and uh, delete the template so it's it's gone uh, hit apply again like it's a very empty window so this is the yaml file i'm about to import uh, the yaml file is uh, it's uh, like like very similar as python it's sensitive to spaces and tabs all these things, all, uh, all these tabs really matters. Uh, that's, that's very important in, in this project. And the, the PHP will do this uh, escaping so-called like automatically so we don't need to worry. Uh, here uh, I will click on the raw file. I have like now I have the direct link, direct link. I will copy this link to the clipboard. Now go to the command line. Uh, so in this directory uh, ls minus one, I can see ls minus one. I can see I have only two files. I will now use curl minus s and this template title uh, minus small o, and this will be the name. I will call it in the very same way as it was in the repository. This will be the name. Enter. Now I have uh, more files here. I will just open just to see if it is the same content. Uh, voila, and it is the same. So the goal is to import this guy inside the interface. What to do next? Uh, we need to have a session session key session token, and uh, there is a built-in functionality in the starting with Zabbix 5.4. We can generate a session token. It, it, this can be done under the administration general. Uh, we have API tokens and uh, create API token. Uh, let's call it automation and user will be like super administrator uh, expires tomorrow and uh, add. 
Okay, so this will be the session co token to operate with the API. It's it, it has very powerful uh, permissions. Copy to the clipboard. I will just publish here in the command line so I don't lose it. And uh, now uh, the first task uh, we can put this how to on the screen. Uh, how to use it. Uh, it, it consists with two things. Uh, one thing is the PHP wrapper will actually create the JSON stuff, what like the the full API call. Uh, and uh, for this to function, uh, we we at first the first dependency is uh, DNF install PHP minus CLI uh, the command line utility. Uh, so this is the guy who really will parse the script. Uh, also quite useful is uh, we, we can have like GQ, uh, GQuery utility. Uh, this uh, is to better read the JSON stuff. Uh, to test the wrapper right now, um, how it will create this uh, input for the, for the curl. Uh, we can copy this thing and this is my command. And uh, what I will do, I will replace this uh, session key. Uh, why my face is uh, all, 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 all over the place. Uh, so this will be the session token. And now we are just losing the command uh, hashtag over here, cleaning the screen. So this is now the command uh, PHP and the, we are using the custom script and now the session token and uh, uh, the template name and uh, I can uh, hit the enter right now it, it, it's producing like some white content and if I key co open the command from history and uh, pipe it to the j q and dot then we have to have at least the valid JSON here and now we can see all those uh, extra uh, tabs are really escaped that's a good thing and uh, if you see this green content on screen that's like a half of a win uh, we almost uh, can do everything uh, and uh, now the actual import uh, let's have a look again on the how to and uh, to do that uh, we must encapsulate everything in this uh, in, in this curl command what I will do, I will grab the command from history, uh, write a hashtag in the beginning. Now uh, I will grab this curl till the dollar sign and uh, parentheses open, click. Uh, and uh, now the actual command, which did work fine for me uh, here. Uh, and uh, okay, my face is again all over the place. Uh, let's uh, okay that's that's fine and uh, I will uh, now where is the how to uh, the curly parentheses close one double quote and at the very end we need to have the URL of the front end uh, over here this will be URL of the front end I will just uh, write a hashtag over here and clean the screen uh, this is the almost full working command to understand exact URL of the front end. I will open the front end, uh, copy this path uh, to the clipboard and going back to the command line, remove the stuff over here and uh, publish here. Like this is the same front end URL. And uh, instead of index.php, we have API underscore JSON RPC. And uh, now, uh, since this template is not yet there, uh, we are about to import it. And uh, hitting the enter, click. And voila, uh, the result uh, ID, uh, this is the new, uh, this looks like a timestamp. Uh, I, I, get, I was hoping for the template ID. Uh, now let's look on the front end, uh, going back to configuration, templates and uh, voila like this guy is uh, still uh, this this guy was imported successfully let's just try again one more time I'm about to delete it delete 
okay uh, nothing is there and uh, like hit apply nothing is there and uh, let's run again the same command uh, and enter and it prints again the timestamp uh, let's go back to the front end hit the apply and we have the file again uh, all right yeah i hope you find this useful uh, the code uh, as i mentioned the the, the magical php file uh, uh, we import like this is available in the video description and there is a link where, where we can download that uh, also like dependencies uh, we have to have at least php minus uh, we so I, i'm working with the php 2 7.2 so this is the basic minimum v version to for the script to function uh, okay yeah thank you very much and uh, goodbye uh, don't forget to give a like uh, if you find this video useful